Welcome back to Realism Overhaul, everyone. It's been quite a while since we've actually had Realism Overhaul on the channel. And in fact, the footage that we're looking at at screen right now is very old. I want to say seven to eight months old. I think I remember seeing in the files that this is from June of 2022. So yeah, sorry that it's been so long. Life has been a bit crazy. Now, this episode, we're not going to be going over any crazy sort of uh, missions or anything. These are sort of low-profile missions, uh, well, relative to some of the other stuff we're doing. Of course, we still have some shenanigans on screen, as you can see by <laughs> us flipping a little bit out of control with this mission. Uh, the mission that we saw before this, first few minutes of the video, that was a simple geostationary satellite contract. I believe we have a full network of four satellites around the Earth uh, in, I think, two different inclinations. In fact, now that I'm looking at this, I believe we have more than four satellites, but the one that we have on screen here, this is a mission that is using the Wraith upper stage, and it has a series of two satellites. Now, we've been playing with Principia in this save for since the beginning of the save, right? And that has all of these cool purple lines, all these trajectories, all this crazy stuff. And something we've never ever explored yet are the Lagrange points. Now, Lagrange points are points in space that you can orbit, technically, but there's nothing there. You're orbiting, quite literally, space. Now, the way that works is how gravity, and specifically uh, two large gravitational bodies, two large pieces of mass that are pulling gravity, they interact with each other by warping, uh, we're just going to call it the space-time continuum because I don't know all the technical words. Look, I'm just, I'm just a YouTuber. I don't, I haven't, you know, gone to schooling for any of this stuff, but they interact and create, like, points in space uh, that like pull things towards him just like if there was something there and it's the coolest thing ever and for a moment there we were exploring it and you saw all the crazy little squiggles and we ended up finding the holy grail of an orbit the bean shaped orbit and that was just i remember streaming that and that bean shaped orbit was a really fun time we we all started a cult around the bean i think for that stream maybe the one afterwards uh, but what we found out the resolution of us studying going to lagrange points was that it is extraordinarily unstable now i knew this from the get-go i knew that we wouldn't really be able to get a stable orbit around any of the earth moon lagrange points i think we tried l2 and we tried l4 and they're really really unstable which is why it looked like a bunch of spaghetti now I knew this from the get-go, like I said, I wanted to see just how unstable, and we've determined very unstable. You can stay there with orbital corrections, but yeah, apart from that, you're going to fall out of orbit, you're going to just be orbiting the Earth, you're going to fly out of the Earth-Moon system, what have you. Now, the mission on screen here is a far simpler mission. We are sending a satellite to orbit of the Moon to map its surface with some new parts that we finally unlocked. This is in preparation for landing on the moon, for setting up bases for exploration, specifically what we are looking for by doing this orbital survey is we are looking for places with water and with regolith. Now when we are actually able to go down to the surface and stay there, 
If we want to stay there without having to rely on our orbital Amazon deliveries constantly for things like water, for fuel, we're going to want to mine it when we're actually there. And water and regolith are two really important things for this. With water, you have, well, water, but you also have rocket fuel. And our plan for the future would be to set up a base, set up mining platforms somewhere nearby regolith and water, so that we can create rocket fuel and then send reusable flights, send vehicles to the moon that can refuel there, set up a fueling array around lunar orbit in preparation for exploration of the outer planets. That, that is the plan. And whether or not we get around to that, we'll just have to see. Now, the next episode, we will be sending crew to actually search for places to set up a base. We want to find some place nice. But until then, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And peace out. Special shout out to Avery Cal, Caden Seward, Kerbal Master, and Mr. Blue Star for being directors on the Patreon. Thank you all so much and everyone else supporting the channel on there. The Minecraft server has been so much fun. We'll probably do so much more. So I will see you all then.